Shay, what it do, man? It's your boy, two official five nine four five, and today I'm sitting down with a very special guest, my boy C Weezy. What's going on, bro? What's going on with you, man? We in the building, man. C Weezy, man. What's going on? Man, I can't complain. How you feeling, bro? You know, I'm alright, man. Another day, man. You know, we living, we wake up, we breathing. Definitely, definitely. I see you on the crazy media line right now, pushing the record right now. You were just okay, so tell me how that was. Man, listen, that was experience. You know what I mean? It was experience, great dude. Just, just, just moving. You know what I mean? Just moving and grooving, just getting busy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, tell the people where you're from. For the dirty water, 203. You don't know what all that is. CT area, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. We out here. Yeah, man, I see you definitely working. I see you definitely grooving. Um, I see you on all hip hop, one on five, one. Um, you definitely, you definitely making a lot of noise right now, making a nice little wave. Um, talk to me about the single still. Talk to me about that record. Man, that right there is just, you no, know, call it a crafty piece of work with that one. It's just, Reminding people, you know what I mean? I think Instagram made everybody just always think everything is about being fresh and and money and this. And that. Some people still making 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 shit neat. You feel me? Some people still having hard times. Some people still got to do whatever do whatever they got to do to get that cash and pay them bills and take care of their family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's the um, like I said, you're definitely the person, man. You've been all over the place. Um, you want to set your tone. Tell me a little bit about the um, GIC Entertainment. Well, it's the label, you know what I mean? Been working on, got that up and going, you know what I mean? Just trying to get the brand moving, something that could get past just like a, you know, have a long, a long last longevity than just me writing songs and putting them out. That right there is just something that's going to build a whole team together, more artists into it. Um, it's just something in the making right now, just making sure I get that whole so the label just correct, more artists, more music coming out, just, just trying to get all that in the orders right now. But GIC Entertainment is definitely going to be something crazy big. Definitely, definitely. You got any artists you want to shout out on GIC Entertainment? Well, no GIC Entertainment. Only had one artist at the time. His name was Smooth Loke, you know what I mean? But he recently just passed away last week. Oh, man, my condolences. My condolences. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. R.I.P. Smooth, but Smooth World, man. But, yeah. he, you know what I mean? He was definitely a dope artist. And right now... We just pushing out the product, man. Anything I got with him, anything that relates to his movement as well, I'm just pushing out the product, getting out there and respect his memory, you know? Definitely, definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? For all my people that are just tuning in, listening on the radio, all my people that's watching this on YouTube, IG Live, you know what I'm saying? Let them know where they can follow you at. Let them know about some of the music that you got on streaming outlets so they can go run the numbers up soon as they get done watching this, bro. You can definitely find me on C Weezy official IG, C Weezy everything. If you could type C Weezy, you could find me. You feel me? Definitely. Um, you know, to exit 22 is the album that's out. That's that's where you can find still at all platforms, you know. Okay. All platforms. Um it's definitely gonna be a, a thing, you know what I mean? So I just about the exit 22 the album. And then what's 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 some of your favorite joints off the album? Man, still claiming prison boy, you know what I mean? Like, it's definitely, definitely got some dope, dope shit up there. Definitely, definitely. Who are some of the producers you worked with on that project? With Chewy on the beats, I got my boy Chewy, you know what I mean? My boy Lo, he up there, he, he, he produced a few of the songs up there. Uh, besides that, just kept it real, just local with people I've been working with since I started, you know, just so we all could build as a brand and Again, just get the name out there together. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. Um, so you told the people where you from. How was it like growing up where you from? You no, know, just like anywhere else, man. You gotta survive, you know. And um, you got your good sides and you got just your bad sides to the town. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. The same as everywhere else. You know what I mean? Just try to make the best choice you could, and you'll survive by the head. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, 
out here is definitely, like I said, once again, it's just like everywhere else. You got your wild animals there, the cool cats there, the dudes over there that's not with the drama. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, for the people who haven't got a chance to check out your music, uh, what would you say that your music bring to the table and bring it to the game? Definitely originality, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, you ain't gonna hear no one that sound like me, you know? I mean, everybody say that about they sound, but I, you know I mean, I, I definitely, it's a show improvement thing. If you hear me and go listen to it, you can tell off the strings. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to compare me to nobody. Two, I like to just keep it real 90s style, you know what I'm saying? I like to keep it rough, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And not, not, not as far as always rough, like just, kill music but you know i got aggression to my voice and my music you yeah. feel me yeah so just my talking is a bit just is so imagine the music is a bit rough you know yeah. just my voice you feel me Definitely. so how long have you been doing music and how long have you been taking this series and seriously been dropping projects well i've been i've been doing music for about i'm gonna say 15 years Okay. I, took, I only been taking it serious about four. Okay. And that was after me doing my jail time and everything. So, you know, once I got done with the incarceration, I said, yo, let me put my head on my shoulders. And, and I mean, God didn't give me a gift for no reason. You dig what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Yes, sir. So I just put my foot, my one foot front and just got busy. You dig? Definitely, definitely. So um, for a person who haven't listened to your music, would you say that your music is more of your trials and tribulations of what you've been going through and, and your environment? Facts, facts. Now, it's going, it's going. You, my music is going to give somebody that, something they can relate to. You know what I mean? Throughout the project that I made, you don't relate to jail. You're going to relate to being hurt by a loved one or right. family problems or maybe you need some money or. Maybe you got money. You mm -hmm. feel me? It's just all around. You feel me? It's just, yeah. it's just relatable in some shape, way, or form. So um, you say you've been doing music for 15, 15 years. Like, what's some of the artists that influenced you to be like, yo, I'm really finna do this? Oh, truthfully, nobody in particular. I still listen to old music, bro. Like, I still listen to Guru. I still listen to Wu-Tang. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. It's just the love of the craft, bro, and the, and the music itself and what it do to you, how it helps soothe you in life that make me just want to keep going and pursue it. Exactly. And, I, and why not do, get paid for something you love doing? You know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. I feel that, I feel that. I feel like um, that transcends to fans as well, you know what I'm saying? If they can relate to it and they feel it, you know what I'm saying? Music is always all, all about feeling. You know what I'm yeah, saying? How right. make you feel when you hear it, how you feeling when you hear it. You know what I'm saying? It all plays a part. So so I think that's key when you create music. Um, when you create music, do you do you normally have a concept in mind? Do you go hear a beat? Do you write? I know some people write in their mind. What's your creative process when it comes Listen, to music? I literally when I literally had a dude today to ask me, yo, you still write in the notebook? Hell yeah, I do. I need to see that shit properly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you feel me? I need to see it and no lie. I you know go hunting for the beat. I let I read the beat. I let however that beat make me feel when I hear it. Mm, that, that just made me if I hear a beat and it made me feel it made me feel some kind of way about uh my man's passing or some I'ma write about something yeah. about death. If it make me feel about that beat sound like oh some money, mm -hmm. I'ma talk about me having bread or you know what I mean. If I feel gutter on that shit and shooting shit, I'ma talk about that. You feel I me? Mean? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, what can the people look forward to? You know what I'm saying? You got any new projects, new music? I know you're dropping singles like crazy. You got any new singles on the way? Yeah, I definitely got singles on the way. I'm working on the covers and everything. Those getting made. Those definitely going to be some fire shit. Okay. Um, no lie, I got it's like two other albums coming out. I'm working on 80s Baby and um, the Bonnie Parker story. You feel me? I think a lot of people don't give Bonnie Parker her, quiet, her, her credit. If you don't know who that is, it's the Bonnie and Clyde. Everybody yeah. will talk about Clyde, but you don't talk about Bonnie. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. He was an ill nigga, but he had an ill woman on the shoulder. You feel me? Yeah. 
Definitely. You got any um, features on that on them joints you wanna uh, you wanna talk about? Nah, I haven't even put no features, bro. I've been at, and people ask me if I should. You know what I mean, I can always get the, yo, you should do a feature with this person, that person, or something. But right now, while I'm growing and building my brand and, and building myself and my talent, I just want to all the way just, just That's everything is just me. Yeah. I don't got no features. Okay. Feel me? I can't, I can't have people feel they really genuinely dig my craft if they hear other people on it. I got you. I got you. Feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I respect that. I respect an artist that, that rather stand on his own and they have, a, you know what I'm saying, a, a feature. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you get to enjoy the craft. You get to see what the, the, the craftsmanship that goes into the lyrics of that record because it's all right. on you. <laughs> at, at this point, you're giving people your undivided attention only strictly about you. They can't judge nothing else besides just you. Yeah. Uh, they hear a track with someone else and home's nice and just got, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, they, now they, 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 they not really focus on just judging me and what I got going on. You feel yeah. me? Exactly. I mean, exactly. So, you know, it, it worked both ways though. Sometimes a nigga on the track can make it harder, better. You know, who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, you just once I get to build it organically and see how it go when it get there. Exactly. 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 Yeah, I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. Um, so, um, you got any upcoming shows? So, yo, truthfully, I mean, I'm pretty sure you know, just like the rest of the hip hop world. Yeah. COVID kind of slowed that down. Yeah. And then next thing you know, when you do have these talks with shows and promoters, them shits end up getting canceled by the time you even get there, you feel me? Or even talk about it even further. So it's like, the show has been on a standstill. I was finna go on a tour with Brody Fresh, but due to the COVID and me being a little iffy of the vaccine shots and shit, I, I said, yo, I'm gonna just sit back, hit the studio and just continue beating yeah, people yeah. in the head online, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely been killing them online, you know? You, Definitely been making your rounds on the on the media on the media run. Um, I've seen you doing a lot of a lot of big stuff, a lot of big radio interviews, a lot of big blog placement. You know what I'm saying? I want to commend you on what you're doing. Keep working, keep grinding, bro. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time out, stopping through with us over here on Five Now Four Five. Man, before you get out of here, anybody else you want to shout out? Anybody you want to you know what I'm saying? Show love to before we get out of here. Man, listen once again, man, to my brother, Smooth Loke, man, Smooth World, man, rest in peace. I'm going to do it for you, man. We ain't stopping, man. We're going to keep grinding. The whole GIC, Gully Gang family, the whole C. Weezy brand. That's it, man. Feel me? I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you taking time out your schedule, coming through, chopping it up with us, man. Make sure you send us over that music, 5945 FM, man. Make sure you send it over to us. We'll get it in rotation. And we appreciate Thanks. you, bro. C. Weezy, right. it's your boy, too official, man. We out, 5945. We out of here, man. Salute, my brother. All right, bro. Appreciate you.